Tiger, and this is Tiger's story of how he went from being a street cat to being a spoiled house cat. Yes. <laughs> we first met Tiger when he was just a baby. It was the winter of 2016, and we found some cats living by the old abandoned hotel in town. It didn't take long for us to figure out that the two kittens were siblings and that the orange cat around them was their father. We named him Papa, we named the little girl Princess, and of course we named Tiger, Tiger. We took pity on these poor little kitty cats and we started bringing them food and treats every day. Rain or shine, we made sure to be there. It didn't take long before this adorable little kitty family had stolen our hearts. At the time, we were living in a seasonal apartment and we didn't have a permanent place to live year-round. We thought that at least if they had each other and they had the shelter of the old hotel, that they would be okay. Plus, there were other folks in town who were also feeding the stray cats, so we knew that even when we were gone, there'd be people there to look after them. The more we visited, the more the kitties got used to us. Tiger seemed to especially take a liking to us, and he always responded to our voice and came when I called. He loved not only to get food from us, but he seemed to really enjoy our company. And from the very beginning, he genuinely loved to play. After he would finish his food, he actually stayed around and spent time with us and played with whatever toy we happened to bring. But before long, spring came and we both had to leave to get on the road for our work seasons. We didn't know what was going to happen to the sweet little kitties. We did know some of the kind people that also fed the cats and they kept us updated while we were away. Unfortunately, they let us know that little princess didn't make it. They took her to the vet, but she was just too sick. And not long after that, Papa Cat disappeared. Tiger was going to be all by himself and alone in the world. Two months later, we were back in town for our wedding. And much to our sheer delight, Tiger remembered us and was thrilled to see us. Nice. Scratching your back. Just scratching your back. Yeah. <laughs> But it was time to leave again and we were going to be gone for several months. We had to hope for the best and keep getting our updates from the other family who fed the cats. When I returned four months later, as soon as I stepped out of the car, Tiger heard my voice and came running. We were so happy to see each other. We spent a little bit of time with Tiger every day we would feed him, he would walk around town with us, and we spent that month back home in Croatia looking for a permanent apartment to live. Also during that time, we caught Tiger and we took him to the vet. We made sure to get him fixed and get all his shots. Then it was time for us to leave and head back to the US for three months. Tiger was gonna be on his own again, but the other family were still looking after him. We built him a little house that he could live in while he was outside, and we were excited to adopt him as soon as we returned to Croatia. Who's that per engine? Three months later, we were back, and Tiger was just as happy to see us as ever. Two days later, on the first of what was supposed to be many, many rainy nights, we grabbed Tiger and we took him inside. In the beginning, he was a little overwhelmed and frightened, of course, but before long, he was feeling right at home. We had lots of food, love, and toys waiting for him. Nowadays, Tiger loves his spot on the couch with his favorite blankie. He loves to play. Did I mention he really loves to play? He watches birdies and the world go by from up on the balcony. He is the king of his cat tower. And he loves to sleep on our bed. That lost little stray cat now has a happy home with a family that loves him. And when we're away working, we have family and friends that come over to take care of him. 
No more worrying about cars or other animals for this little guy. In this story, we all get a happy ending.